What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for clicking on today's video. This is a very important topic that needs to be discussed because I'm sure that about all of you guys use plastic. You use it in your everyday life, your day-to-day -day activities without even thinking about it. Most of everything is packaged in plastic. And what I'm about to share with you and some of the statistics I've found and researched and I want to share with you guys will alarm some of you and won't be a shock to some of you, but it will definitely change your perspective on how you're using and consuming plastic in your everyday life. And hopefully you can take away a lot of information from this video because I did a lot of research on plastic and the amount of plastic that we consume and how it's pushed out and used in almost everything in a lot of products and the fact that it's in our air as well and we are constantly just consuming plastic as humans and what this will do to us how this affects us and the future of all of this going on and honestly there's certain countries that couldn't care less about how much plastic we as humans and other creatures and animals we're consuming on this planet, how it affects our water, how it affects our brain development, all these different things, because they have a new agenda, I'll just put it that way, that wants us to consume this plastic so that we can be sheep, we don't think for ourselves, we start to become polluted in our minds. A lot of plastic does lead, lead to migraines, headaches, sickness, certain types of cancer, and there's certain people at the top, which I cannot name, that promoted global plastic production since the 1940s when it first started. And now it has grown into a multi-trillion dollar business of plastics being produced across the world. So no further ado, I just wanna share some of these statistics with you guys. We're gonna talk about plastic consumption, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and how to avoid this moving forward, what to look out for when you're buying plastics, how to avoid overconsumption, certain replacements you can use instead of using plastics all the time, and the country that's behind the production, consumption, and waste of the most plastic in the world and this won't be a surprise for a lot of you guys because you probably already know who this is but with no further ado let's dive into some of my talking points this article comes from the globalist.com so if you want to follow along and read some of this information that i'm putting out after this video feel free to do that link is in the description the first point i want to share with you guys is global plastic production and consumer use took off in the 1940s today an average person living in north america or western europe consumes 100 kilograms or 220 pounds of plastic each year, most likely in the form of packaging, okay? For a lot of you guys that are out there, you don't realize how much plastic you are consuming every single day, okay? And we will pull up the statistics in my next article about how much that breaks down to each and every day and each and every week and the amount of plastic that your body is constantly just consuming. It is all over the place. And if this continues, we are going to continue to see birth defects, rises in illness, autism, cancer, all these different things. And there's no slowing down with this because certain countries don't want to listen and don't want to slow down with their plastic consumption and their plastic waste. The third point I wanna talk about is in Asia, average plastic use is currently just one fifth of that level. Okay, it's one fifth of the level of North America and Western Europe. Interesting, right? At 20 kilograms or 44 pounds per person. That figure is expected to grow rapidly as the region's economies expand. However, Asia and China specifically has the highest waste of plastic and they're selling their plastic to us here. China is all about the Benjamins baby and they're going to sell us their plastic waste and their plastic consumption that they're producing in these factories, polluting the air, polluting the environment, polluting our bodies, and they're selling it to us here in North America, here in the United States. That is their goal. They only care about how much money they can make and they don't care about the long-term effects of this. We're buying so much plastic from them, chances are the plastic fork, the plastic knife, the plastic spoon, the plastic water bottle, the plastic to-go cup that you're using, the plastic containers that you use to carry your food out when you get takeout, all of that is being produced by China in mass, and they don't care about your health. They can stick whatever number, whatever label they want on it because there's certain labels that they say are cancer-free, this, that, and the third, but do we really trust these individual countries to sell us their best product, their safest product, when they don't even like North America? They don't like the United States. 
This is why I urge you guys to be critical thinkers. And I urge you guys to be self-taught, to teach yourselves these things because you won't learn these things in school. They won't teach you these things. So the next article I wanted to pull up here comes from abcnews.com. I will link all of these articles in the description box once again. The title of this article is frightening. Humans consume the equivalent of a credit card worth of plastic every week. All right, and now that we're in lockdown, I'm sure that number is continuing to rise because fewer people are going out. We're still, in California at least, things are still shut down. So people are going to order more takeout. They're going to want things delivered to them. And what is it delivered in? Plastic. What are we consuming most of our food in? Plastic. Where do you think the plastic they're burning in these factories goes out into? The atmosphere, the air that we breathe. And like it says in the subtitle, plastic is in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food we eat. The consumption of plastic has become unavoidable in recent years, but a new report is proving just how much humans are ingesting on a regular basis. People are consuming about five grams of plastic every week, which is the equivalent of a credit card, according to an analysis by World Wildlife Fund and carried out by the University of Newcastle, Australia. That equates to 21 grams of plastic per month and just over 250 grams per year. And we just talked about that. The single largest source of plastic ingestion is through water, both bottled and tap. So I've noticed this trend of people carrying around plastic water bottles, people reusing old water bottle jugs that are a gallon, saying I'm drinking my gallon of water a day. And that's good for you, that's great. But you must realize you're continuing to put plastic in your body by doing that. And then you're promoting other people to carry around this plastic toxic waste, drink out of it and poison themselves when there's other more efficient ways and healthier ways to have access to clean water. And we'll get into that at the end of this video. Other consumables with the highest recorded plastic levels include shellfish, beer, and salt. So as you scroll on the article, it says the problem can only be solved by addressing the root cause of plastic pollution, said WWF uh, International Director General Marco Lambertini in a statement. These findings must serve as a wake up call to governments, Lambertini said. Not only are plastics polluting our oceans and waterways and killing marine life, it's in all of us and we can't escape consuming plastics. Global action is urgent and essential to tackling this crisis. Since 2000, more plastic has been produced worldwide than all the preceding years combined. About a third of the plastic ends up in nature, according to the report. We are consuming a credit card's worth of plastic every single week. It's literally the equivalent of eating a credit card. So now let's talk about how to avoid cancer causing plastics because we can't escape it, but we can certainly at least try to avoid it to the best of our abilities while we're here on this earth and what we can do about it. All right. So what you want to look out for is on the bottom of any plastic container, plastic bottle, whatever it may be, you want to look for these numbers. You want to avoid the number one, the number three, and the number six, okay? Those are cancer-causing plastics. And if you look at some of the cancer-causing plastics and some of the items that these plastics that are toxic are used in, they're your everyday average things, all right? Soft drink bottles. People drink soft drinks all the time. Mineral water. Fruit juice container cooking oil. Think about that. I'm sure all of us in the past week maybe in the past day haven't used at least one of those items that was plastic think about that trays for sweets fruit plastic packing or bubble foil like plastic wrap cancerous toxic contributes to you eating a credit card of plastic every week and food foils to wrap the food stuff basically what i just said toys hard packing refrigerator trays cosmetic bags, costume jewelry, CD cases, and vending cups. Those are what we use in our everyday lives. 
and a lot of people don't know this information. You might have already read or known about some of this stuff, but the majority of people out there are asleep to this information and they are constantly consuming plastics and it's destroying the earth and it's destroying their bodies. So to wrap things up, here are some ways to avoid plastic consumption. The first way, buy food in glass or metal containers, avoid polycarbonate drinking bottles with bisphenol A. Number two, avoid heating food in plastic containers or storing fatty foods in plastic containers or plastic wrap. And a lot of you guys do this. A lot of you guys put things on plastic and then heat it up for whatever reason, all right? Maybe you didn't have this information, but you are directly melting plastic into your food. Please listen to what I'm saying. I'm trying to help you guys out here. Do not give young children plastic teethers or toys. Because what we just read, little kids, their toys are made from China, from China, with the toxic plastic. And then what do kids do when they're teething? They put it in their mouth. They put it in their mouth because they're teething. And what does that create? Creates toxic plastics, cancers inside their body at a young age. Hence why we see the rise in autism and all these different things. Number four, use natural fiber clothing, bedding, and furniture. While you're relaxing or laying down or sleeping in your plastic couch or your plastic bed, you are breathing in those plastic particles 24-7, 365, all year long. Avoid all PVC and styrene products. What is a styrene plastic? Styrene is a chemical used to make latex, synthetic rubber, and polyesterine resins. These resins are used to make plastic packaging, disposable cups and containers, insulation, and other products. And if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. We're going to close on something that will blow your mind, all right? So if we go back to the cancer-causing plastics, here at number six, we see polystyrene, all right? Found in toys, hard packaging, refrigerator trays, cosmetic bags, costume jewelry, CD cases, vending cups. What do you think is the plastic they are using in surgical masks, AKA medical masks, that they are now pushing everyone to Put on during this CV. Welp, you guessed it. The material most commonly used to make them, as in the surgical mass right here, either 20 or 25 grams per square meter in density, mass can be made of polyesterine, polycarbonate, polyethylene, or polyester. So now they got you guys breathing in plastic 24 7 365 and if you look at the statistics pollution has increased as these masks are being promoted as well because they're having to create more and more of these masks so if you don't think that a certain country has us wrapped around their thumb and pulling strings behind the curtain, you are sorely mistaken. And this will wake you up, hopefully, to do your own research, to investigate, to use more glass, and don't use plastic. Try not to use that as often as you can. Be sure to get filtered water, be sure to understand where that source is coming from, and understand that there is an agenda behind everything that goes on and everything that is pushed behind the scenes. But you can't just come here and watch the videos I put out. You have to go do your own research, all right? Make sure that you are constantly reading and constantly growing and developing your minds so that you don't get caught up with the rest of the sheep that are being led to the slaughter each and every day. Have a blessed rest of your day. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the bell notifications. See you guys next time. If you guys have any other video suggestions you want me to cover, be sure to let me know.